Vice President Joe Biden is spearheading a series of corporate and government partnerships aimed at speeding up the national fight against cancer. Imagine a day perhaps when my grandchildren have children of their, of, of their own, when the threat of cancer is a distant memory, when their children can be vaccinated for cancers as routinely as we vaccinate for measles and mumps, and other cancers can be treated and cured, made into chronic conditions. Biden kicked off the effort with the Cancer Moonshot Summit at Howard University on Wednesday. Over 350 researchers, oncologists, data and technology experts and others were present at the summit. An additional 6,000 people will join more than 270 events around the country. The goal, to harness American innovation to identify new ways to prevent, diagnose and treat cancer. Here are five things to know about the National Cancer Moonshot. Number one, the president convened a cancer task force, which he announced during the 2016 State of the Union. And because he's gone to the mat for all of us on so many issues over the past 40 years, I'm putting Joe in charge of mission control. For the loved ones we've all lost, for the families that we can still save, let's make America the country that cures cancer once and for all. What do you say, Joe? The task force is made up of the heads of multiple executive branch departments, agencies, and offices, including the Department of Defense and the Department of Health and Human Services, the National Institutes of Health, and the National Science Foundation. Vice President Biden became committed to leading this national fight against cancer following the 2015 death of his son, Beau, who battled brain cancer. Number two, the White House has set aside $1 billion for the initiative. We've marshaled the, uh, the full force of the uh, federal government, uh, and our goal is to make a decade's worth of progress within the next five years. While the full funding request is still being considered in Congress, the National Institutes of Health received $195 million for new cancer research in fiscal year 2016. Another $755 million in funds will be awarded to both the NIH and the Food and Drug Administration in the following fiscal year. Additionally, the Departments of Defense and Veterans Affairs are increasing their spending on cancer research and will be conducting large studies to help determine risk factors and better treatments. Number three, there's a supercomputer taking on cancer. IBM is donating access to its Watson supercomputer. Watson, famous for beating human contestants on Jeopardy, can read 40 million documents in 15 seconds. The New York Genome Center will use Watson to generate new analysis and insights to create the world's most comprehensive open cancer data repository, according to a statement from the White House. Number four, Moonshot funding will go toward prevention and cancer vaccine development, early cancer detection, cancer immunotherapy and combination therapy, enhanced data sharing, genomic analysis of tumor and surrounding cells, pediatric cancer, as well as the establishment of the Oncology Center of Excellence under the Federal Drug Administration, which will coordinate the review of all the agency's cancer treatments. And five. The Moonshot Initiative to Fast Track Cancer Research is named after President John F. Kennedy's 1961 commitment to land a man on the moon. Cancer will kill an estimated 600,000 Americans in 2016 alone. Globally, cancer is expected to kill an estimated 8.2 million people this year, according to the World Health Organization. The number of new cases is expected to rise by about 70 percent over the next two decades. And I think I'm in a position to say without being totally naive that we're on the cusp of breakthroughs that can get us there. 